February 9th, 2012. And this is the science that makes headlines this week. Astronomers from UC Santa Cruz and Carnegie Institution found an Earth-like planet just 22 light years away. The planet, named GJ667CC, is rocky, estimated at approximately 4.5 times the mass of the Earth, and exists within its red dwarf star's habitable zone, even though it takes only 28 days to complete its orbit. Interesting side note is that GJ's star system has three stars. Oh, and this planet was actually discovered last year, but this study confirms that fact. Russian scientists at Vostok Station in Antarctica report breaking through the 4,000... 4,000 kilometers of ice that has sealed Lake Vostok away from the rest of the planet for the past 20 million years. Scientists around the world hope to discover microbial and other life forms that might have evolved in isolation down there. Debates rage concerning the probability of contaminating the lake with life from the surface. Svante Pabo and his team at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Biology opened the full Denisovan genome database for analysis and comparison by other scientists. The genome itself and related conclusions will be published by Pabo's team in coming months. Open science for the win! We will certainly be hearing more about the information gleaned, from, uh, gleaned about humanity from a tiny finger bone in the coming months. Results of the latest LHC analyses of the CMS and ATLAS experiments were published and increase the Higgs boson signal to approximately 4.3. This suggests odds of over 99% that the Higgs exists. But, you know, as scientists, they're still not certain yet. So for more certainty, we will have to wait until the LHC starts running again this spring, possibly at even higher power. This is the week you will learn the best glass for serving champagne. Well, maybe not the best, but the possibilities that you could use. According to a study in PLOS One, French researchers found that slim champagne flutes allow a greater collection of carbon dioxide gas than broader coupes. And colder champagne releases less ethanol. So pour accordingly. Teeny tiny tarsiers were found to hear very high-pitched sound, as high as 91 kilohertz. To confirm that the tarsiers themselves could make the sounds, researchers recorded the animals using a bat detector. It's still unknown how the small creatures make the noises, but it's thought that the sounds sometimes serve as alarm calls and possibly in detecting insect prey. The Indiana Senate passed a bill allowing the discussion of various religious origin stories in the public class classrooms of the state. The intention of the bill's sponsor, Dennis Cruz, was to insert the teaching of creationism into science classrooms alongside the theory of evolution. However, the Speaker of the Indiana House made statements suggesting that the bill would not be brought into uh, would not be brought for a vote. New research funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation suggests that malaria may kill nearly twice as many people worldwide as previously estimated. Published in the journal The Lancet, the study concluded that deaths from malaria were 1.24 million in 2010 rather than 655,000. On the bright side, the numbers of deaths do seem to be decreasing year to year. And that does it for the science headlines this week. Let me know what you think about the science news or tell me what you what, what you think should be news by emailing drkiki at drkiki.tv or leave me a voicemail at 650-741-5454.